Hi, I'm Kirsty, and today's sequence is for you if you suffer from anxiety. We will look to stretch the psoas muscles and open up the hips. So please get a block, like a brick block, and we'll begin. So just coming to lie down on your back. Take your feet mat width apart to begin. Your arms are going to lie alongside the body, palms face up. And you're going to drop the knees over to the right. Inhale to centre, drop them to the left on an exhale. Keep continuing with this breath pattern in as you bring the knees up and out as you drop them down. One more exhale, dropping down to the left and then meet in the middle. Then bring your knees in, hug them in tight, squeezing the hip flexors. Let your feet relax. And then take the soles of the feet down onto the mat again, hip width apart this time. Arms alongside the body, palms face down. As you inhale, you're going to tilt your tailbone up towards the ceiling and lift up each vertebrae onto the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. Keep pressing into the feet, keep lifting up the hips. Breathe deeply so that you can see your belly rising as you breathe in. This is a great stretch for the psoas, for the thighs, and to open up the front of the body. So just enjoy breathing deeply here. Keep pressing into the feet so you can lift up the hips. And then you'll come down on an exhale. Lowering the spine down, each vertebrae at a time. Then you're going to hug your right knee in, squeeze it in as tightly as you can towards the right armpit. Hug it there, breathe. And then you're going to take the peace fingers on the right hand and loop them around the big toe. So you're coming into half happy baby pose. Now, Make sure your shoulder is coming down towards the floor, so you're relaxing the arm bone back into the shoulder joint. Your left leg can either be bent, as mine is at the moment, or you can extend it long. See what feels good for your body. Breathe. This is a lovely stretch for the hamstrings. So breathe deep into that area. Often we get really tight here, and this can exacerbate any lower back problems. So hamstring stretches are a must every day. Release, come out. Take the right foot onto the mat. Bring the left knee in, squeeze and hug it in. And then release the right hand, take the peace fingers of the left hand and come into half happy baby pose on this side. Again, choosing how you want your leg to be. If it feels safe for your lower back to extend the leg long, go for it. If not, keep the foot on the floor. You're probably noticing now which side is tighter than the other. We're all tighter on one side or the other. So just take note of that. And it can be good to bring into your practice an extra breath on the side that is feeling tighter. Okay, we want to bring this balance into the body. So by noticing the side that is tighter, just spending a little longer there can help to release, release the tension. Again, allow the shoulder to relax down onto the floor. The arm bone sucking right back up into the shoulder joint. And then release, hug both knees in. Take the hands onto the knees and make circles with the knees, giving the back a nice little massage. Go about three times in each direction. And then we're going to roll up and come onto all fours. So just creating a little bit of momentum. And at the same time, giving your back a nice massage. Cross the legs, come over. Okay, set yourself up so that your shoulders are above your wrists and your hips are above your knees. We're going to come into cat-cow. So for today, inhale, take the tailbone and the crown of the head up. 
And as you exhale, round through the spine, drop the tailbone, drop the crown of the head, press into the hands and get a really nice stretch through this part of the spine. Inhaling, lovely stretch through the front of the body. And exhale, round, press right up into that area that gets really tight behind the heart. Drop into the breath, inhaling and exhaling as you move the body. Okay, and then meeting in a neutral spine. Tuck your toes under, we're going to press back into a bent knee downward facing dog. So pressing into the hands, lifting the hips up high, getting a lovely long extension through the spine. Knees stay bent for this first one please. Okay, and then as you settle yourself into the pose, start to walk the legs out. So you'll keep one knee bent and straighten the other one, the other leg, and keep going. Okay, and then from here, you're going to take your right leg high, take it slow, as if you were moving the leg through water, and then you're going to bend the knee, bring it through in between the hands and press the foot down. Take the back knee down, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms into cactus arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together so that you get a really nice stretch along the front of the chest. <sighs> nice, long, deep breath. Inhale, take the arms high. Exhale, hands either side of the front foot, step back, downward facing dog. Okay, inhale, left leg's going to come high. Again, take it slow. And then bring the foot in between the hands and the back knee comes down. Hug the back knee and the front foot together to create a solid foundation. And inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, open out into cactus arms once more and take three long deep breaths here. Keep hugging the foot and the knee towards each other. On your inhale, take your arms up. And exhale, hands either side of the front foot. Step back once again to downward facing dog. Okay, so from here, ripple forwards into plank pose. Keep pressing the earth away from you. Keep the balls of the feet on the mat and broaden the collarbones. Breathe deeply here, push the earth away, feel steady, feel strong. Don't sink the hips like so, keep them lifted. And then bend your knees, take your seat back to your heels and come back into an extended child's pose. Cup your fingers like I'm doing here. And this gives a lovely long stretch to the underarms. Gets extension around the spine and gives you a nice stretch around the top. Breathe deeply. Let everything drop. Allow the belly to go. Don't grip in that area. Inhale to all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps up in between the hands. Back knee stays up off the ground this time and you're going to inhale, take the arms all the way up. You can choose to come into cactus arms if that felt good for your chest, for your shoulder blades. Or you can just keep your arms up. So your legs are steady and strong here. Shoot the energy out through that back heel so that back leg feels really strong and stable. Keep hugging the feet towards each other and from that hugging action you get this lovely rise. So you're rooting to rise. Exhale, hands either side of the front foot. Okay, from here what you're going to do is you're going to take your toes and turn them out to the left. And actually move your foot out a little bit more to the left. 
you're going to take your back knee down and you're going to bring your forearms onto the floor. Okay, press the forearms into the mat so you've got this lovely lift happening, you're not sinking down through the shoulders. And then if you've got really loose hips already, you can take your back knee up off the ground. Otherwise, if you just want to open up tightly through this right hip flexor, stay as I am now. <sighs> really lovely stretch here for this area of the body that gets really tight and restricted. Okay, and step back downward facing dog. Bring your right foot up, turn the toes out, back knee down, forearms. Press into them so you've got this lift happening. Again, choosing your back leg position, either knee up or down. And dive into the sensations that are revealing themselves, no doubt, and breathe. Keep pressing into the forearm. Keep pressing into the forearms. And then step back. <clears throat> Downward facing dog. Inhale, plank position. Exhale, press back. This time take your knees wide. <clears throat> Excuse me. Big toes touch, knees fall out to the side. Extend the heart forwards and reach your fingertips away from you. If you can get the chin on the floor, rest that there. If you can get the forehead on the floor, do that. If neither of those are available to you, you can use your block and just rest your forehead here. This can be a really nice place to rest. Now breathe deeply so that you can feel the lower back going up and down, breathing into the area of the adrenals, the kidneys. When we are in a state of anxiousness or fear or high stress, our adrenals overwork and produce a lot of cortisol. So by paying attention to this area and breathing deeply into the lower back, this allows the body to rest. It allows the organs to get the messages from the brain that everything is safe and it's okay to rest. Okay, coming up to sit on your heels. We're going to move into a breath practice now. So coming to sit so that you're comfortable. You're going to take your right hand and take the first two fingers down into the palm. And then you're going to place your thumb on your right nostril and breathe out. Inhale. Close off the left nostril with your ring finger and exhale out through the right. Inhale right, close it off, exhale left. So keep going with that breath pattern. You're exhaling and inhaling through one side and then you swap to the other side. Close the eyes, calm, go in to the breath and feel everything that is arising from this practice. What this does is it starts to calm the nervous system which then sends uh, chemical messengers back to the brain to say everything's safe and everything's okay. The brain then goes, oh, okay, right, I'll let the nervous system know everything's okay. So you have this feedback loop, okay? So this practice stops the other feedback loop of stress happening and it brings in this state of calm. So keep going with this practice, remember it and you can use it whenever you're starting to feel those jitters of anxiety. And then complete on the left side, exhaling all of the air out. Blink the eyes open. And then just come round to lie on your back once more. 
and you're going to take your block and you're going to put it on the lowest setting, if you like. So place that underneath the lower back. Make sure it feels comfortable. And then arms alongside the body. Or if you're feeling like you want hand, uh, your hands on your body, just take one on the belly, one on the chest, or the solar plexus, whatever feels comfortable to you. And let the knees drop in towards each other. Close the eyes and just take a moment here. And then slowly extend the right leg long. Keep the toes turned up. And then just relax them out to the side. Make sure this feels safe for you. Okay, it's a place in the body that can feel quite vulnerable. So make sure you feel safe. And then turn your toes back up and slowly lift the heel about two inches up off the ground. And then exhale, release, keeping the toes up as you take the heel to the floor. Inhale one more time. Exhale, release. Slide the foot back in and repeat on the other side. Left leg long, toes turned up to begin with, and then let them go out to the side. Breathe deep and relax here. Really gentle stretch. Then inhale, turn the toes up. Exhale. Inhale, lift the foot two inches up off the ground and lower it back down. Two inches and down. Slide the foot in. Now, you can choose to stay here or you can turn the block around just up to the next setting. Again, place it in an area that feels safe and secure. And then rest here for three breaths. Really relax the belly area. As you breathe deeply, it's not this forcefulness that's happening. You're just meeting the belly with compassion, with softness so that the belly is relaxed and able to move. We spend so much of our life walking around holding our belly in because of society's norms. I really want you to celebrate the belly and allow it to relax, letting go of that psoas muscle, that uh, place where we hold a lot of fear. Okay, removing the block slowly popping it to one side and coming down to lie on your back. Let the knees fall into each other one more time and just feel your lower back on the mat. Feel the spaciousness that's there. And then slowly extend the legs long. Let the toes fall out to the side. Hands can be on the body or alongside it. You choose. Get comfortable and settle yourself in for a lovely long relaxation, soaking up all the benefits of your practice today. Long deep breath in. Exhale everything out. Just repeat that two more times. Eyes closed if they're not already and settle yourself in. And I invite you to completely let go and relax and stay here as long as you can. <laughs>